Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. Going to start working on the table extension. Like I told you before, I got that piece of steel right there uh, as a remnant, relatively cheap, but it's not the exact size that I want. This table right here is two by four and that piece is uh, just over five by like 46 or 45 and a half so we're actually going to be adding this piece of two and a half to it along this edge or this edge whichever works out the best and i'm actually going to cut a half inch off of it using my evolution circular saw um, to make a nice square edge as you can see this is a factory edge and it's it's rounded and i don't really want to butt that rounded edge up to this nice flat edge so uh, like i told you if you guys watched the video uh, about the uh evolution miter cutting or uh, steel cutting miter saw uh sitting right there um you guys saw that i'm, I'm going to be making this bigger but i'm i'm just i'm not a hundred percent happy with that saw awesome saw just don't like um all the chips that it throws if you guys could have saw all the chips uh, if you guys go back and watch that evolution miter cutting chop saw uh, in tool tech or last Tuesday's tool tech video you would have saw all the chips all over the place and like I said I'm just spoiled because of all the chips that the uh, 380 catches versus all the chips that that throws so anyway we're gonna get started on this project it may take a couple of days um, but we're gonna cram it all into one video uh, what we're going to do first is go ahead and I've got this marked. I've got a fence set up so I can get a nice straight line. We're going to cut that off. Uh, I do have my first two pieces cut that we'd used the, uh, the miter saw to cut. Uh, the first couple of cuts, this piece is going to go right here. Uh, we're going to clamp this down. We're going to use the mag drill. We're going to drill through this piece through and or through these two pieces. That way we can bolt the table together. And then we got some legs over there. So yeah, we're gonna get started on this. Um, we're gonna see how uh, this, we're gonna really put this saw to work because this saw is supposed to cut up to half inch steel uh, and we're gonna be cutting 3 8 plate. So uh, let's go ahead and see how this baby cuts. And we're gonna do it all wearing shorts. But it has chip collection as well. So yeah, let's see what happens. So let me tell you, that was loud, relatively loud, but impressive as hell to say the least. That's 3 8 plate, and we just cut through that in probably about two and a half minutes, and that's probably about 45 and a half inches long. This is the drop right here. And this is what we started with. As I got started, after I went in just a couple of inches, I did have to remove this clamp, uh, but stayed pretty straight just because of how low the motor sits. But yeah, impressive to say the least. All right, now with that cut, um, I did have one of these pieces cut. I've got it laying there. As you can see, we got just a little bit of a gap. So we need to uh, close that up. You can see my gap that I'm gonna weld shut on this piece of two and a half. Uh, I'll weld that solid on the other side, then just grind it flat and it'll become part of this uh, remnant there that I purchased. Right now, I just flop this over on its side. I grabbed a couple of wood blocks uh, because you know this is extremely heavy as well and just let it fall over and hit those wood blocks move it over and set it down I do have this other end clamped on the side to get ready and drill these five holes uh, what I'm going to do is probably start maybe in the center or on these outsides uh, I did grab this drop hold on somebody's knocking at my door
Micah. Somebody wanted in. Come in to check it everything out. Anyway, I did grab this. Hello. She wants to help. I did grab this drop right here and uh, made sure everything was good that way uh, where I'm going to drill these holes. So like I said, I'm, I don't know where I'm going to start yet, either in the center or here. Um, we'll just have to wait and see, but uh, it's coming together so far better than what I had anticipated. Go ahead and get the Evolution mag drill set up and uh, start drilling some holes. All right, I got the mag drill set up. I'm gonna drill this hole first. Um, then I can move to this outside one. Uh, there is enough space in here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill that hole and then put a bolt in it. Um, we got it set up with a 5 8 Aylner cutter and the Evolution S28. All right, as you can see, that went pretty good. I did have to remove some uh, chips or some shavings after I made it through the first piece and then uh, was able to go through both. So now I'll go ahead and drill the other four and uh, this piece will be ready to go over there and uh, we can start welding. I'll have to cut my outside pieces, but I wanna get these two pieces established on my plate because of my uh, addition that I have to put on the remnant. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these holes drilled and uh, yeah, we can start doing some welding. Well, that's the end of that bit. Um, I had to take this clamp off uh, because it was in the way. I had thought about welding this, but as you can see, as I was drilling that, it started to lift just a little bit and put it at a little bit of an angle. And when I cleaned the chips out of there, because it wasn't uh, fluting out very well, um, it had just enough bind to where it broke my 5 8 annular cutter. So, um, yeah, gonna have to try and figure out what I want to do next, uh, to be able to drill or finish drilling this hole and drill that last hole. All right. Uh, kind of crisis averted, except for I got a broken annular bit. 
Uh, what I did was uh, I had to run to Menards because I did not have a fluted bit as a, a, a 5 8 fluted bit. Um, you can see right here uh, what's left of my 5 8 annular cutter. So what I did for this last hole over here was I actually drilled a 9 16 um, with my one annular cutter. And then I just put a fluted bit, put the chuck in there. I put a fluted bit in and then uh, chased it down with that. And then this side, it was almost through. I was able to knock the slug out of it and uh, finish it off with uh, the fluted bit. So um, I guess you could say crisis averted, but we got a junk bit in the process. Anyway, holes are all drilled. Now I can take this piece over to the uh, remnant there or the top of the table, whatever you want to call it, and uh, we can start doing some welding. Um, I do have everything cut except for the side pieces. Uh, that'll go right through here. But for the most part, I'm ready to start welding the top together. Um, I did make one cut over here on the 380, and I wanted to show you kind of chips um, that's left. We are still getting some chips on the floor, but uh, not near as much with one cut there. That's two and a half by three eighths. Um, of course, we got all kinds of chips there because we drilled holes. Anyway, let's go ahead and get some pieces over there and we can start welding. All right, we got this set up. I'm gonna start down there in that corner. Uh, I did mark it up and in just for my own reference. Um, as I get that side tacked down there, I have everything the way I want it. Um, I'll get that tacked and then I'll move down here, uh, move this out and tack this side. I just got to make sure and stay in at least two and a half inches on that first weld uh, because of where a leg is going to go. Um, not in this corner, sorry. In that corner, there's a leg, um, two and a half inches. I haven't decided if I'm going to put a leg here yet. Uh, I may or may not, depending upon, I, I guess if I do put, uh, you know, make that its own. I don't know. I, I just, I really haven't decided because I'm going to bolt it together. Yeah, them 5 8 bolts may probably will support it pretty good, but I may want to put another leg in there. It's just these legs here will be about an inch apart uh, because we've got a half inch side there and we've got a half inch side there. So, uh, yeah, I haven't decided yet exactly how or what I'm doing uh, right there. So, irregardless, I need to stay in. Two and a half inches, um, which is just about right there. Maybe, you know, it's a half inch this way because of my half inch side. And then two inches, so I'll be a half inch off this seam. So right now we're going to go ahead and get this side tacked <clears throat> and move on from there. All right, so in amongst uh, amongst welding this table together or uh, doing this, uh, the my camera has quit working. So it looks like I'll be buying a new camera right over there. But anyway, I uh, do have the table pretty much all welded together. Uh, I'm not going to do everything solid. I don't feel that it's necessary. Um, but yeah, here is the finished product. Uh, at some point in time, I may weld a support across the two legs. But for right now... Um, I can always take it apart. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it over there and bolt it together. And uh, first I gotta get it flipped over. So this ought to be fun. All right, so we have fast forwarded to Monday night now and the table is still not done. Yes, I did have a camera issue like I had stated, um, but we got the camera issue taken care of as far as it was just a full memory card. Uh, for some reason, I wasn't paying attention and left my memory card get full. I have deleted some videos off of there. So we are fine with the camera, but we still have an issue with the table. What I'm dealing with now is 
kind of squareness per se. As you can see, there's just a little bit of daylight on that side. And very minimal daylight on that side. Uh, I did cut that loose on both sides to allow some flexion a little bit. But when I bolt that together, it heaves in the center like that. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to take a piece of channel or maybe grab my ramps out there we're going to bridge across this one clamp it down and then this one as far as we can go clamp it down and we're just going to weld the whole damn thing together make it one table uh, just on the sides and underneath we're still just going to leave this gap right here um, obviously not that wide but butted together so we alleviate the fact when we do bolt that together it heaves like that and we don't have a flat table um, yeah, because it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so nevertheless, we're just going to make it one flat table. I'm still contemplating just cutting everything off from here, or basically from here. Uh, cut that off, cut this off, <coughs> move to the center here in some place, put a leg, and just have one, two, three legs on each side, maybe one in the center, not certain yet, uh, but yeah. Um, if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comment section uh whether to whack that off that off and uh yeah i'm just I'm kind of beside myself it's not working out the way that i wanted to but you know things sometimes work out and sometimes don't so that's where i'm at with the table going to pick up on it tomorrow uh hopefully fi uh, finish it in another video but for right now that's pretty much all i have uh yeah, I do that all the time and forget to say, hit that like button. Anyway, yeah, kind of disgusted with the, the progress. I had other things I needed to get done, so I said to hell with it for the rest of the weekend uh, because we had other projects we needed to work on. So, yeah. Anyway, sometimes we win, sometimes you lose. And this time, I lost in just this aspect, uh, but the rest of it does look pretty good. Um, you can see I got pretty good heat signature marks through the top there, uh, so we got good penetration. Uh, from the half to the three eighths everywhere so yeah really happy with the penetration on the welds yep pretty hot um, as you saw in that last clip I may do some more welding in there uh, just for strength purposes um, not certain yet but yeah I just want to get this together and get it placed in its permanent home so uh, with that being said, that's pretty much all I have for tonight or today. So if you don't mind, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already done so, and also check out Evolution Tools and Prime Weld. Uh, those are my two biggest. It's it's not over there anymore. Uh, right there's a 380. Uh, I've got the mag drill there, the circular saws in there, but Prime Weld and Evolution are my two biggest contributors to the channel um, and I tell you what I couldn't work or function without either one of those companies so a huge thank you to them um, you guys get a chance to check out their websites uh, that do have Amazon stores links will be in the description until next time guys uh, we'll talk to you later